What's going on, folks? JJ here. Listen, I'm gonna cut to the chase. All right, let's 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 get it out here. There is a problem in the mob tube genre. What am I talking about? I'm not talking about the guys who are going around pretending to be former members of the life. What I am talking about is these AI-based driven channels that claim to put out mob-related content that is honest, accurate, and just across the board, truthful. Nothing can be further from the truth on this. Okay, so but before I get into that, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been here before, you've been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time, go right down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So when I do drop a video, you will be notified. And if you want to support the channel, because I am not monetized by YouTube, right down in the description box uh, is several ways that you can help support the channel one you can hit the like button on each video that helps two i've got a cash app paypal venmo and a link to where you can buy me a cup of coffee also if you want to buy a product from timu you go right down below hit that link make a purchase what happens is when you make that purchase I get a small commission that helps also helps out the channel. So let's get back to it, okay? Now, what I'm about to play you comes from a short that was put out by a channel called Exclusive Mafia. And I'm I'm hoping this is not the same channel that I first started to follow when I started doing videos because the guy that I met, he, he ended up selling the channel. That's what he did. He sold the channel. But the guy was a great guy. I interacted with him a lot in the his community, uh, his community tab on YouTube, and also in in a comment section, and a lot of the videos he was putting out. So I'm going to play you this video, and I want you to hear this. Are you ready? We're going to add it to the stage. Let's go. Business. In addition to his involvement in the bid rigging scheme, Di Bernardo maintained a dual identity as a real estate tycoon diverting funds from the Gambino family's illicit activities to finance his own property ventures. Over a span of just a few years, he misappropriated over $4 million from the family profits. Adding further complexity, he engaged in secret meetings with members of other criminal families, intensifying the already precarious situation. The days of DiBernardo are coming to an end. According to investigators, the Westies, a group from Manhattan's west side, were tapped for the job. In June 1986, DiBernardo mysteriously disappeared. What a load of horseshit. Yes, I said it. It's a bunch of horseshit. Oh, this is this is what I'm talking about. Now, somebody who hasn't that's just getting into studying the mafia or wanting to know a little bit about the the mafia history, which is also part of our this country's history for for better or for worse. They're going to see this and think, oh, this is the truth. But it gets even worse than that. Okay, I want you to look at this, this screenshot that I took from a channel called Mafia Ministries. Again, another AI-based driven channel. Look at the thumbnail, and you can see what's a lot of it's wrong with it. Why everyone was afraid of John Gotti. 172 bodies found. Look at the thumb. That's in the thumbnail. It looks like it has a picture of a man fixing to get beheaded. And there's John Gotti smiling. Now, listen, a lot of people don't like John Gotti. They blame him for the downfall of the mafia, uh, which is further from the truth that could ever be. There was a lot more going into it than just John Gotti uh, taking down the mafia. There was other people involved in it former members uh but look at that john Gotti, a name that struck fear into the hearts of both mafia insiders and the streets alike his reputation for a ruthless cunning blah 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 or shit again look at the thumbnail people who do not like john Gotti, sammy fans could easily use this 
and say, look how bad John Gotti was. Look at that. Look at this video. Look at that thumbnail. 172 bodies found. Now, trust me. There are some fans that will try to do this. Use this against John Gotti or anybody that questions Sammy Gravano. And I'm not blaming Sammy Gravano for this. He can't control what his fans do. Anyway, that was from Mafia Mysteries. So let's look at another one here. This one, Bonanno Crime Family versus the Colombo Crime Family. Another one by Exclusive Mafia. Get into the intricate and volatile world of the Bonanno and Colombo Crime Families. Two of the most infamous factions in the history of blah, 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 blah. Now, I've seen this video. Well, I watched most of it. You can see right there. It's our screenshot. It about 20 minutes of it. There was some truth told in it, but there was also some bullshit spewed out of it. Again, AI driven. Again, somebody not writing their own scripts or using AI to do all the work for them. Let's go to another one. This one is just about as bad as the as the John Gotti one, the thumbnail. Look at the, you guys look at these thumbnails. And you see I didn't get too far in that, that red line through there. How Vito Genovese, Genovese, Genovese killed Frank Costello and became America's, and you see in the thumbnail, America's most feared, couldn't even spell feared right, gangster. Uncover the gripping tale of Vito Genovese and Frank Costello from their humble beginnings to their meteoric rise to the power, follow the blah, 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 blah. That's what this is. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. These people do not use their own scripts. They do not use their own voice. They just, you know, copy and paste whatever bullshit they find and put it in here. So, here is the channels that I'm going, I'm, I'm mentioning. Mafia Mysteries. For business inquiries, contact business at mafiamysteries.net. Dot, 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 more, blah, 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 blah. There. That's one of them. Um, puts out a lot of bullshit. Like I said, some of it's half truths, some of it's truths. I mean, let's go on. Real crime, true crime, gangsters, serial killers, and the most infamous people in history. Real crime, blah, 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 blah. Another AI channel that puts out a lot of horse shit. Top Dog, Exclusive Mafia, True Crime Channel, Organized Crime, Documentary Style Episodes, Update Daily, Updated Daily, Blah, 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 ExclusiveMafia.com, uh, another horseshit channel, or has become a horseshit channel. I wish the guy that originally ran it would buy the fucking thing back and get it back on track. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, this is the shit that we as content creators of the mob tube genre have to deal with. Um, like I said, the best thing you can do is either ignore the channels, spread the word that these channels are bullshit. Or you can go over there and watch some of the videos, see where they're telling some bullshit, and say, hey, what you're putting out is bullshit and hit that thumbs down. That lets YouTube know that they're putting out horseshit. It's just pure horseshit. And that is one another problem that faces the mob tube genre. Like I said, exclusive mafia, or no, it's mafia mysteries. I'm sorry. That put out the, the thumbnail, John Gotti guys get fixed to get his head whacked off and 172 bodies found. People are going to think he was responsible for 172 uh, people disappearing, not coming home. Hey, come on. This is bullshit. I don't know how many times I got to say it. It's bullshit. 
So that's my little rant for today. I was going to been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I just got sidetracked with a lot of things. So now I'm trying to get back on track. I've got another video out coming out soon. Uh, be on the lookout for it. Uh, Mikey Scars fires back. That's the next one. So anyway, I'm fixing to head on out of here. I hope everybody is blessed. Um, remember, folks, when it comes to doing the right thing, helping others out, making this world a better place, try it. It does work. And I'm out. Love you guys. Bye.